guys, it's Sam and I'm here to do another booktuber shoutouts video. So I did one of these last month and I really love doing booktuber shoutouts. It's the way that I find most of my channels that I subscribe to, so I will be putting all of these into a playlist. So if you haven't seen the first video, go and check it out. I will link that right here as well as down in the description. So definitely go check out those channels as well because I still wholeheartedly recommend those channels. I will also be putting these into groups yet again, so all of the groups will be linked over here. If you want to click around and see which ones that you are most interested in, you can definitely do that. I recommend watching this whole video because I wholeheartedly recommend all of these people, but if you know which genres you're kind of searching for, they will all be linked right here. So first I want to start with the science fiction and fantasy group. First I want to talk about Sana from Ink Bones Books. I'm sure many of you have already heard of her if you are into science fiction and fantasy, but I absolutely love her. Her videos. If she pops up in my feed, I will instantly click on it and I'll probably add the book that she is recommending to my TBR. I completely trust her opinion and we have very similar views on books, so I definitely know that if she enjoyed a book, then I'm probably going to love it as well, and if she hated it, probably not going to like it so much, etc. And she has really introduced me to a lot of books that are currently really high on my TBR. There's a few up here that I have bought just because I heard about them in her videos. I completely, completely trust her opinion. Her reviews are excellent. I watch every single book review that she does regardless. I'm not a huge review watcher always, but I really love her review videos. I kind of based how I did my reviews off of hers because I loved her so much and I found them the most informative. She is so eloquent. I just love the way she speaks. I love every single video she does. I think they are really stunning. She has really good graphics and stuff like that in them. And I just really appreciate her personality as well. She is somebody that I really feel like I could hang out with. <laughs> she is somebody along with everybody on this list that I really feel like I want to like have a meet up with. I want to meet her. I think she's fantastic. And on another note, she really appreciates makeup. She will occasionally do makeup videos and I love makeup. It's one of my other obsessions. I love like lipstick and stuff like that and nail polish and the whole shebang. So when I see those videos on her channel, I'm like, yes, another one of my favorite things. So I will stop gushing about her because I just love her so much. But if you guys are into science fiction and fantasy or really anything, go check out Sana because she is excellent. The next person I want to talk about is more in the science fiction realm, but also still in fantasy. And that is Brock from Let's Read. I really love the way that Brock's videos are made and his sense of humor. He has this like very kind of drier sense of humor that I really really appreciate. So I just find his videos hysterical and just his personality is just is just funny. He did a blooper video recently that I just really I understood. You know, as booktubers we kind of understand these things that we cut out of our videos, but that are really funny to see all kind of compiled and how we act behind the scenes. So as I said, he kind of reviews more science fiction-y type stuff, and I'm trying desperately to get more into science fiction. I have already started a little bit. I'm making inroads, and the books that he recommends always sound really cool, and I definitely trust his opinion on science fiction for sure. Also, Brock is really supportive of the entire booktube community. He was one of the first people I think that commented on my videos when I only had like a few hundred subscribers, and I really appreciate it. He makes everybody feel super welcome, so if you haven't checked out Brock yet, please do so. Next I want to talk about the adult fiction slash literary fiction category. First I want to talk about Mercy from Mercy's Bookish Musings. She really reviews a lot of books that I normally wouldn't pick up. She's very into the literary fiction. She only reads adult. I've never seen her read YA or anything. Maybe like a few times, but I, I don't really think so. So she reads things completely different than I do, but I really appreciate all of her reviews. She does reviews on nearly every book she reads, and I really, really appreciate that. I definitely try to check out her videos as much as possible because it kind of helps me to broaden my horizons. Also, she loves beautiful covers, and you know how I feel about beautiful covers as well as everybody else. Adult books are far more appealing when they have beautiful covers because sometimes I feel like the adult genre just doesn't really flow with the beautiful covers that we get in YA, and she definitely picks up beautiful covers. So I just really like going just staring at her book hauls because she finds books that I normally wouldn't pick up, which I really appreciate. Next I want to mention Katie from The Book Wanderer. I mentioned her a long time ago in another tag video where you talked about booktubers, but I really really love her videos. I find her cinematography and graphics really wonderful. They're really just nice pretty videos to watch and she does them so well and puts them together so well and I really really envy her editing. And again she's another person that reads a lot of things that I just normally wouldn't pick up. She reads a lot of memoirs as well as a lot of literary fiction and a lot of travel stuff. She enjoys travel. It's one of her passions in life and so if you're really into that she reads like travel type books and travel memoirs and stuff like that that I usually wouldn't gravitate towards. So I have gotten some recommendations from her that I wouldn't have ever gotten anywhere else. 
She's also a very sweet person. I believe she lives in Chicago, which warms my heart because my hometown is a little bit outside Chicago. So it's kind of nice to hear her like talk about Chicago or like something she did or like the weather there that's obviously bitterly cold because it just gives me like a little sense of home. Next, I want to talk about the YA category. As I said before, these are not people that only read YA. The YA category is kind of usually a jumble because I feel like a lot of us, I consider myself kind of like a YA booktuber, a lot of us read kind of everything, but just a lot of focus more in YA. So just so you guys know, it's not only YA books that these people read, as well as everybody else. Everybody reads kind of like a variety in here. So these categories that I have, as I said before, don't, I'm not trying to stick them in categories. It's just easier for like sorting and organization on this video. Anyway. First I want to talk about Connor O'Brien. I recently discovered him and I really love his videos. He does a lot of shorter videos which I just really appreciate because when I'm trying to procrastinate and watch videos it's really easy to click on like the five minutes and under videos to watch a few more. So those are a lot of his videos are very short and he keeps things very concise which I really appreciate. And he does a lot of like update videos on what he's reading so he does like Friday reads and things like that which is just kind of cool because then you kind of know where he is if you guys are reading the same books at the same time. So I really enjoy his personality and his videos because they're just quick and peppy and he doesn't really like drag on unnecessarily which I really appreciate personally. Next I want to talk about Grace from Grace with a book in her face. Grace is just a cute adorable person. I actually followed her on Instagram before finding her channel. I don't really know how that happened but then I found her channel and I was like you're on Instagram and I adore you and I just really appreciate your face because you're just so cute. So I love Grace. She has a very similar reading style to me so I know that if she's picking up a book I'm probably going to enjoy it. I really like watching her hauls because I feel like we haul similar books so I really really enjoy her and like I said her Instagram page is super cute so if you're really into like scrolling through the bookish Instagrams definitely check out her Instagram as well as her channel. Next I want to talk about the wild card category. These are the people where I don't really know where to stick them. They kind of read a just wide variety and you just can't put them in any kind of box at all. So these are some of those wild card people. First is Sabrina from Steak at Chino. I've been following her channel for a while and I absolutely adore it. She's another one that kind of keeps videos short. She has longer videos too, but she likes to keep them kind of short and concise, which I really appreciate. She really reads all different kinds of books. Fantasy, YA, adult, just kind of everywhere. Also, she does a lot of really different videos that aren't having to do with books which I think is super cool. She did like a Pocky video. She lives over in Japan right now and there's a thing in Japan called Pocky Day. It's a kind of food and she did like this Pocky review video which was so cool because like I've never experienced Pocky so I have no idea but I just really appreciate these little like fun quirky videos that she does that are outside of the bookish realm. Also I absolutely adore her personality and she just started a book club for doing book series and it's by Seasons. I will actually link this down below because she describes it way better than I do but she's doing like a book club which I'm totally gonna join. So I'm very very excited about that book club because it sounds super fun. Lastly I want to talk about Katie from Effusions of Wit. Katie is a recent subscription of mine and I really enjoy her video. She has a very calming sense about her. I feel like a lot of times on booktube will have these very very bubbly bright personalities which I love too obviously but when you just kind of want to chill and you're watching videos before bed her videos are just perfect for that. She has a lot of book reviews and she reviews like everything. She has classics, literary fiction, science fiction, fantasy, like, the whole shebang. She has really in-depth book reviews as well which I really really enjoy and I just think she has a really nice well-rounded channel. Alright guys, that is it for now. I'll be linking everybody's channel down below for you to check out. So definitely go and check out these people. I recommend all of them. Also go check out the last video and I'll be doing these videos on a regular basis. So again, if I subscribe to you and you haven't seen yourself on these, you will be. I'm trying to do these at least once a month, maybe like once every two months depending on the time that I have, but I'm going to make these a regular thing. I love doing shout out videos. I think that's the easiest and best way to find new booktubers. So I will definitely be continuing this series of shout outs in the future. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!